What's up guys? So I asked you guys over on Twitter and also on my community page on YouTube, what are the most tryhard skins in Season 11? I've got the most popular comments from you all and I put it into this list right here. And yeah, today my friends, we're looking at in Season 11 or Fortnite Chapter 2, whatever you want to call it, what are the most tryhard skins that you face when playing in game? So when you go in game and you come across one of these skins on the list, you know, most of the time... Um, these skins are going to be skins that, you know, these players is going to absolutely destroy. They're going to have the aim of Shroud. They're going to have the building skills of, you know, a bloody robot, man. And, you know, these skins, you do not want to go ahead and get in a 1v1 build battle with these skins. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to be really awesome. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button as well as subscribe to the channel. And also chuck on that notification bell to stay up to date with all of my videos coming in the future of the channel. And also, if you guys want to help me out that extra little bit, I'd really appreciate if you could use support creator code COSMOSFTW inside the item shop. That would mean so, so much to me, guys. And drop a comment below if you guys are using my code because I want to see who the legends are out in the comment section. Alright guys, so coming in the number 10 spot, this is something that I actually got a fair few comments from, and this is all of the brand new default skins. Now, when I went to get some gameplay for this video, I reckon, you know, probably about three of the four times that I died, I got killed by an actual default skin, which is probably saying that this should probably be higher on the list, because, you know, I've found that these new uh, default skins have been pretty tryhard. I think they're definitely way better than the old default skins in my opinion um i think they look a little bit better you know they combo a little bit better and yeah i think they're also definitely very try hard and a lot of you guys did agree with me um on this as well which is always good to see and yeah i definitely think the brand new uh, default skins are very very try hard and you know just like the old default skins they were very try hard as well i think these ones have you know stepped it up and because you know they're still kind of new as well i think people are still like a lot of people are still using them um, and yeah, they're definitely very try-hard skins. Okay, so the number 9 spot actually really surprised me. And I saw a lot of comments with this skin. And, you know, in my experience, I haven't found this very try-hard. But it seems as though a lot of you guys actually have, which is pretty insane. This is the Ripley skin. So the tier 20 battle pass skin in our season 11 battle pass. Uh, yeah, the Ripley. And a lot of you guys have been saying, like, you know... Like, you know, it is a skin that you probably wouldn't think would be tryhard, but for some reason, a lot of you guys have found that this has been tryhard in game, and I got a lot of comments saying, Cosmos, bro, you wouldn't believe it, but a skin that I've been finding really tryhard is actually the Ripley skin. So that's very interesting. I think this is one of the most interesting spots on the list. I didn't expect this to be on the list, but, you know, I got a ton of comments, and I had to include it. So I chucked it in at the number nine spot, the Ripley skin, um, and also the special style that comes with it, the sludge as well. So yeah, that's very interesting. It's coming in at the number nine spot. The number eight, I got a couple comments with, and I found this pretty try-hard myself. This is a fairly new skin that has released. It released about a month ago at the time I'm making this video, um, and this is actually the Ruby skin. So this is a, uh, a rare skin, a 1,200 V-Bucks skin. Um, and yeah, I think this skin, when it first released in the item shop, it was pretty popular. Like, this skin was pretty hyped up because we saw it leaked and everyone was like, man, this skin looks sick. It does look really great. Also, for 1,200 V-Bucks, it comes with a, quite a nice back bling as well, the red alert back bling. So, I definitely think this skin, you know, it had the potential straight off the bat to be a tryhard skin. And yeah, definitely, I think most people that do use the Ruby are very, very try-hard players. And, you know, whenever I come across one, I usually get absolutely destroyed. Maybe because I'm bad or maybe because the players that use this skin are really good. I don't know. You guys can make that up. Maybe a little bit of both. But, yeah, the Ruby skin's coming in the number eight spot. All right, now, number seven. This skin, I think, is a little bit try-hard for the main reason is it's kind of exclusive. And this is actually the Glow skin. So the Glow skin, of course, this is the brand new, like, Samsung exclusive. And if you have the Galaxy Note 10, the Note 9, the Note 8... Uh, the S10e, the S10, the S10 Plus, the S10 5G, the S9, the A9, the A70, the A80, A90, Tab S4, and the Tab S6. Jeez, that was a lot of stuff there. If you have any of those phones, you can actually get this skin. Um, and yeah, I think the Glow, it is kind of exclusive. So whenever you really see it in game, you know that the person that has gone out of their way to really get this. Usually, because you pretty well have to go out of your way to get this if you don't have a Samsung phone. Um, so you know that, you know, if a player has this, they're pretty into the game and they're pretty try-hard already. So usually whenever I come across a glow skin, they're pretty good. Um, except sometimes I use this skin. So, you know, there'll probably be like a one in 50 time that you maybe might see me on the Australian servers using the glow skin and the glow skin will be an absolute bot. But you know, most of the time it's definitely a very try-hard skin. Next up, this is a skin that was actually on our season 10 tryhard skin list. And I still got a lot of comments saying that this is still really try hard in chapter two. And, you know, I've, I have to agree with you guys and say that the aura skin, which is coming up next, 
is still a very try-hard skin. I think, you know, it was really only last season that it started to come out as a try-hard skin. Um, and it's just continued on. I think, you know, it's just probably gotten more sweaty as time has gone on. And, um, yeah, I still see a lot of people using this skin in-game. I usually come across, you know, probably like one aura a game at least. And, you know, usually whenever I come across one, it's a pretty darn good play. It's just one of those skins that for some reason just are always, always sweaty players. There's something about it. It is a really good looking skin as well. There's so many great combos you can use with it. And it's only 800 V-Bucks. And you'll find that a lot of the, you know, really, really tryhard skins are like 800 V-Bucks, which is kind of surprising. Uh, but yeah, that is the Aura skin in that spot on the list. Definitely a sweaty skin. All right, the number five spot. This is another skin that is still considered tryhard. And this is another skin that I don't think is tried personally, but a lot of you guys find in game that the fish stick is a tryhard skin. Now, basically, the fish stick, you know, this skin, it's it's really been, it's, it's been a skin that a lot of people have, like, memed about, really, for, like, such a long time. And, you know, it's just, for me, whenever I, I rarely, like, actually see fish sticks in game uh, for some reason. But maybe it's just, like, on AU servers, no one uses fish stick. But, you know, I get a lot of people saying, bro, fish stick is still a really tryhard skin. And a lot of people find that these skins are sweats. And I think, you know, it's usually just, like, streamers and pro players that are just memeing around and are using the fish stick, you know, as a joke and trying to, like, trick people or something. Um, but, yeah, that's, I guess, why it's kind of considered a tryhard skin. But, yeah, do you guys agree with me or not? In, in game, do you guys find, you know, fish stick as a really tryhard skin? Personally, me, not so much. I want to see what you guys think, though. Maybe uh, it's just AU servers or something. So tell me in the comment section below what you guys think about that one. All right, so next up in the number four spot, this is another skin that has been on the last couple of, you know, tryhard skin videos of mine. I do one every season. And yeah, this is the last skin. You know, all the other skins, the top three, are all brand new skins that we haven't had on this list before. Uh, but the Dynamo right here is next up. And the Dynamo skin is something that, you know, it's just been tryhard. It's... You know, always up there as one of the most commented tryhard skins, and it really is. Um, you know, I think the whole set, I think also the Masked Fury is another tryhard skin. It's definitely a really tryhard male skin. And um, yeah, it's just honestly just one of those really tryhard skins. It's one of those skins that don't even look that good, but for some reason, all the sweats use it. I see so many streamers and YouTubers and stuff that do use this skin on a regular basis, which is why I think it's, you know, such uh, a, a tryhard skin there because people see their favorite YouTubers wearing it and stuff. So they're like, you know what, I'm going to go wear it now. And, you know, you just get the tryhard flow on effect, I guess. And yeah, that's the number four spot there with the Dynamo skin. All right, the number three spot is actually, you know, this is a brand new skin and I've got it really high up on the list. And I can tell you right now, this skin is going to be very tryhard. This is the Hay skin in the number three spot. This skin literally released on October 30th. It was a day before Halloween that it did release. It's classified kind of as a Halloween skin. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, there probably, there probably was a lot of people that did buy it, but I don't think there was a, like a ton of people that did buy it. But I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, over the next couple of weeks, you guys are going to be running into a lot of haze skins. And, you know, you're going to be having a hard time and you're going to be getting absolutely destroyed because I'm telling you, this is going to be one of the most tryhard skins going on, you know, Fortnite, you know, maybe the next six months, even 12 months. I think that this skin is going to stay really, really tryhard. It just, you know, it just gives me that feeling. And I'm sure you guys can probably agree with me as that as well, as I've seen already a lot of comments commenting about this skin. Now, this skin was really close to being the number one spot, but, you know, I got a lot of comments for both. But I think the number one just got it by a little bit more. But this skin, it's only been out for about eight days. And these are all of the brand new zombie soccer skins. I think specifically the Decaying Dribbler is probably the most tryhard, the most sweaty out of them all. And yeah, you know, these, you're going to be seeing a lot of these in game. These were a really popular skin when they did release it, you know, a couple days ago. One was going absolutely nuts about them. We all know how sweaty those soccer skins were when they first released. Um, imagine how sweaty these ones are going to be. I think these are going to go absolutely insane. There's going to be so many sweaty ones of these going into the future. And if they're going to keep them Halloween exclusive as well, you know, in 6 or 12 months time, they might going to become pretty rare. So, you know, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of these tryhard, you know, soccer skin zombies in the future. And finally, the number one spot is going to be the Guild Trooper. I had so many comments for this skin. Of course, it just re-released. Um, everyone's using this. Everyone seems to be a sweat the second they pop on the Ghoul Trooper skin. I don't know what it is. It's insane. Um, but 
you're gonna probably see like you know 10 of these ghoul troopers every game which is just absolutely mental but you know it is a really nice skin um, and it's definitely a very, very tryhard skin. Now, I think it's even more tryhard since it did re-release because, you know, you didn't really see it before, uh, before it did re-release. But, um, yeah, I think this, this had to take the number one spot. I got so many comments about the Ghoul Trooper and, um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to go ahead and conclude the video today. We're going to be doing a video probably in the next week going through some of some, you know, really tryhard combos with some of these skins and some other skins. If there's any other skins that I did miss, tell me in the comment section below, ladies and gentlemen if there was any other skins that I did miss and, you know, also drop me some combos with some tryhard skins as well so we can have a look at them. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll conclude the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.